Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, this love reading should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner, so keep that in mind. Um, also too, if the reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, you can check out my website, aaftarot.com, or by simply clicking on the link in the comment section below. Um, also please follow me on Instagram, Accurate AF Tarot. You follow me, I'll follow you back. There will be an extended at the end of the reading, so stay tuned for that. The link will be in the comment section below. Cool. All right, Aquarius. I recorded this reading and um I thought I was recording your reading and it never recorded. So what a womper. So let's do this again. Okay. First things first. I do feel like, okay, Aquarius. Um, there is something that you guys are having to have a level of strength on. And I feel like there is some, some type of ending, um, that you guys are going to have to let go of because for you, I feel like it's created a lot of heartache. Okay. I feel like you and this person may have not had a great, um, amount of communication. I'm saying that because we have the communication card here. Um, but with that being said, I feel like November for you. There is something that you're going to have to walk away from, okay? I do get that overwhelmingly, and that's because there's something new that's supposed to start for you. So whether it's a new phase of a relationship or a brand new relationship in general, I feel like there's definitely something here about something changing, okay? For some of you, you may be dealing with the Sag or a um, Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. You also could be dealing with a Gemini, or a Virgo for some of you guys, but I feel like there is something here where destiny is going to be kicking into play. And I also feel like too, that there is some type of new love interest or, um, a new love spark. So there is something here that's sparking something new. Okay. I do feel like that. Your advice is, uh, the white Raven spirit. And that's all about trusting in magic and I think it's really dope because if you think about the whole trusting and magic thing, what it's saying is like nothing is ever by chance, right? Everything that happens, it's not a coincidence. It's the universe, right? That is the beauty of the of the universe. Um, it's the co-creation, I feel like, that has happened since the beginning of time. I also feel like trust in magic, it's saying, hey, you're being given a lot of synchronicities around you to say, uh, whether something is good or bad or where you need to go. And I feel like there you're not paying attention to those because there is a specific pattern here, okay? So I do want to say that. Um, and the reason that this time is happening is because it's really supposed to align you with your greatest good or your best intentions, okay? The Raven Spirit is definitely guiding you. And it's almost like the messenger from um, Spirit or from the universe, okay? So... If you've been distracted by some type of illusion for a period of time because there's been a level of chaos in your life, it's really time to go deep in your heart and really understand why everything is happening. And the Raven Spirit kind of gives you a reminder that, you know, hey, um, the way of the world, it's always going to be like that. You know what I mean? But it's important to stay alert, stay awake. Because there is some type of miracle that's coming that you are supposed to be receiving, okay? Which I think is fan-fucking-tastic. Now, 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 brown cow, we have communication. So, obviously, there's somebody here that needs to communicate, right? Whether it's you or your partner, somebody needs to pick up the phone and make a call, okay? There's obviously something that somebody needs to get off the chest, and now is the time. So the other thing that's kind of cool about this card, and this is, I think, like the Mermaid Oracle deck or messages from the mermaids or something like that. For those of you that like tarot or like collecting decks, it's, this is a beautiful deck. Um, but she's communicating with the turtle. So this communication, I feel like, isn't just verbal. It's body language. It's certain cues. It's certain frequencies. It's also feeling like um, if you feel like there's something here that was left unsaid 
or sometimes like, you know, we get tongue tied during arguments or some type of words that they're just not coming out the way that they're supposed to, like write them out first, right? Send them, write a text first and then erase it and, and reformat it or whatever you need to do. Because sometimes we have an opportunity to express something and when we don't take that, that opportunity is gone forever. For instance, and not trying to get like too deep, but how many of you guys have had somebody who you had something you needed to say to them and something happened and they passed on. And now it's like you wish you would have communicated that beforehand. Like nothing in life is guaranteed. And that's why it's always important to communicate how you feel with certain people. Okay. Especially if they mean something to you. Be spontaneous right now. And I feel like you're going to be surprised at the response that your person gives you. Okay, I'm doing this a little bit differently, just so you guys know, um, this is a new spread. So please like, let me know if you like it in the comments or do you prefer the older spread? All right, what's the overall energy for the month for Aquarius for love and romance? What's the overall energy for the month? Woo, the tower, shit, shit's changing, okay? Shit's changing for you, for sure. But the real question is, do you believe in magic? Is this changing for a reason? Whatever you were going through, whatever you felt like you had to walk away from, is it coming back up again? Is this a new chance for you to make things right? To set it right? Holy cannoli, look at that. There's justice. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Libra. You have Capricorn here as well. You may have Capricorn in your chart as well as Scorpio. Um, okay, because this is very Mars to me. Also Aries. Okay, um, how, what is this person's energy in the relationship? What is, what, what is Aquarius's person of interest? What is their energy in their relationship? Okay, the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Swords. What's Aquarius's energy in the relationship romantically? What's Aquarius's energy in this situation romantically? Okay, the Two of Swords. You see Aquarius, I feel like it's on your end. Your person is over here like an open book. They want to talk to you. They have clarity. And you're over here like trying to make some type of decision. Pretending like you can't see. And what's the current situation between these two romantically? What's the current situation between these two romantically? The Six of Swords. Mercury and Aquarius. There is some type of conversation, Aquarius. I feel like you're going to have to have with this person. It's going to have to be sooner than later, to be honest. It's going to happen sooner than later. That, that's what I'm gathering. And what's the best potential outcome for Aquarius and this person? For November, best potential romantic outcome for Aquarius and their person of interest romantically. Ooh, new love. I told you there's somebody new that's here. I feel like it's safe for you to love. First of all, let's talk about it. It's safe for you to love. And I do feel like honeymoon's underneath. I feel like there's something here. This is a relationship that's renewed. This is a new person that's all, all of a sudden entered your romantic situation. And I feel like you're blown. Like there's something here that's coming. And I feel like you're not expecting it. Holy shit. For some of you guys, it is a twin flame. Okay, this is a twin flame connection. This may be somebody that you're separated with or that you're no longer speaking to, but we'll get into that in a second. What's this person's overall energy romantically in their relationship? What's this person's energy romantically in their relationship? Okay, we have engagement ring. And what's Aquarius's overall energy in their relationship with this person? Okay, heartbroken. Do you see how there's there's two different energies? And what's the current situation between these two romantically? Aquarius and their person of interest. Keys on a ring. Mm -hmm. Third party situation. All right, here's what I think. I feel like Aquarius, you have options right now. And I feel like you're trying to figure out what's the best way to go, whether or not you stay with somebody that you dealt with in the past, or if you move past that and you move towards the future. That's something that I'm getting strongly. I do feel like there is a breakup here that happens, but I feel like it's meant to create a level of balance in your life. 
Um, for some of you, there may be some type of legal issues come here. There may be some type of separation or divorce or even marriage. There's something here pertaining to the courts. Okay. Magician. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, um, or an Aries. It's manifesting. Okay. Why is the tower here? Let, let's start there. Where's the tower here for Aquarius? Why is this tower here for Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Three of wands, possibly an Aries with the page of cups. Okay. Hold on. What's being manifested? What's being manifested? Okay. Here's what you're manifesting. Hold on. How does Aquarius feel about this tower? How would Aquarius feel about this tower moment? The Empress. Okay, Taurus or Libra. Heavy Libra energy. Here's what I think. Okay, your energy for the month. Okay, and, and I said this in Gemini. The energy for the month and the situation or the energy of the month and the outcome, these are things that are future. Okay, this is future. This is November. Right here, this person's role in the relationship, your role in the relationship, the situation, that's very current, okay? So this is what's kind of like coming in, okay? What's to look forward to. And then in the extended, we go over your partner stuff. So how do they feel about you? What's the first thing that comes to their mind when they think about you? Um, what is their expectations with your relationship? What is blocking you guys? What's their next actions, advice, and the outcome? It's really good. So that's all about what's happening in November. So it's pretty dope. Um, as far as your energy is concerned, though, I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised because I feel like there is something that's coming back around here. I feel like there is some type of shocking, like what the fuck type of moment. And I feel like it makes you feel good. You feel back to being balanced. I feel like, um, You've been waiting for some type of surprise to come. And I feel like it's here. I feel like that's why that tower moment, it was some type of wait. I feel like Aquarius, like you were trying to make a decision here on whether or not you should say something or not say something. And I feel like when you do, you're pleasantly surprised at this person's response. Because believe it or not, you're the one that's confused. You're the one that's upset. But this person, your person is fine. I also feel like, too, you're manifesting something very secure. You're manifesting something very loving, compassionate, stable, family loving, trustworthy, very domestic. And I feel like it's creating a level of value. You feel very valued in this situation. And I feel like it's a brand new start for you that has a lot of potential, especially with that Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. I also feel like there's something here that's complimenting. You and this person are going to complement each other. There's unity. There's duality. It's it's very yin and yang. As your person is concerned, why is there energy, the Ace of Swords, in their relationship? Why? What, what do they have clarity on? What is Aquarius's person? What do they have clarity on? The Wheel of Fortune. with the devil one more card here please to sum this all together hold on a second okay really quick before I pull any other cards because because as I'm shuffling and I'm pulling I'm getting messages your person knows exactly what they want Okay, I feel like your person wants a commitment. If they've not said anything to you, because I do feel like for some of you guys, they have been quiet for a period of time. I feel like they're waiting for you to reach out to them, Aquarius. And I feel like your person is very confident with what they want. They want something very passionate. The devil's here. Uh, for some of you guys, this person may have some type of addiction or something that's holding them, um, binding them to something, whether it's a relationship a marriage, drugs, alcohol, or this can be just be a serious like connection, passionate connection. But I feel like this person knows that they want to move forward with you. This person knows that there is something between the two of you that's very special, I feel like. 
And for this person, five of wands, this person feels like there are, there is a level of competition in order to be with you. This person knows that. They're not stupid. And how do they feel about this competition? The Hermit. They don't like that shit. Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sag. This person's also too, like, it's either me and you or nothing. Like, I'm moving on. Like, it's either you and I or nothing. I'm not going to put up with you going back and forth. I'm not going to put up with... It's like this person doesn't like competition. This person doesn't like additional people around. This person wants to either be in a serious committed relationship or nothing. And you can see that this person is totally fine by themselves, not saying shit. But their energy coming in is one that wants partnership. That's very clear on what they want from you. All right. Now we have... The two of swords here with heartbroken. Because this is your energy. Why, why is the two of swords here? Death and judgment. Wow. Okay. That's very heavy, heavy information. Heavy. Why? 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 Why does Aquarius feel like this in the relationship? Knight of Swords, Gemini. Here's what I think. I feel like you're upset. I feel like there's separation. I feel like there was some type of separation where you felt like you didn't know what to say or there was something that you needed to say. Hold on, Aquarius. Hold my beer. There was something that you needed to communicate that I feel like you didn't. And for you, it was because you were confused on exactly what you wanted. Two of Swords to me, that's Moon and Libra. So that's trying to make some type of decision here on partnership, on what should be said, how things should be done. Um, there's something there's something here about that, in my opinion. And I also feel like that Two of Swords, it's ending. And you are having some type of rebirth here with what you need to do in order to get this person back. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's communicating. It's living by your ideas. It's standing your ground and fighting for what you want. If you want to be with this person, then you need to tell this person. It's also surrendering what you hold dearest to you to, to achieve what you want the most. Um, and it's, it's about being impulsive. It's like if you have something to say right now, you're supposed to be saying it. That, that's Gemini. Also, too, be careful, okay, that you slow down a little bit and don't get too burnt out, okay? So sometimes Gemini can do that. But your energy in the relationship, it's one of being stuck, not knowing what you want. And then I do feel like that ends. And I feel like you finally come out of it with judgment saying, okay, shit, I really do like them or shit, I really do love them. And why did I do that? Or there's something here where you have a moment where you now understand what direction you need to go to, whether or not there's a certain relationship you need to end in order to be with this person specifically, or whether it's just ending this all together and moving on to somebody new. No matter how you want to slice it and dice it and rub it down, there is some type of ending here and some type of rebirth. And for me, it is also to somebody from the past coming back, especially with the judgment card here. Your situation, it's the six of swords. Why is this here? What needs to be communicated? With the eight of wands. I feel like this, okay? I feel like the situation, Aquarius, was that there was a lot of options and a lot of decisions. And I feel like for you, you don't like things being conventional. So for some of you, you may have had some type of one night stand and now you're communicating with them like, hey, I want something more. Hey, I've been taking some time to really think about it. And shit, I really like that. I really do feel like I love this person. There's Gemini, there's Jupiter and Gemini. And I also think it's about this situation. It's about communicating on what you haven't said. 
there is a lack of communication for where, where are we going with this? Like, I feel like somebody may have even asked, like, what are we doing with this? And the moment that that happened, somebody shut down. No matter how you want to cut it, though, the situation is things are moving in the right direction, but it starts with communication. And it's also too, like, I feel like for somebody, and I don't know if it's you Aquarius or your partner, but I feel like they're depressed. Like somebody feels alone, like they feel depressed. They feel like they're stuck. And I feel like somebody here doesn't know what to do. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the right thing here to do is. And I don't want to make a bad move. Like, I feel like somebody's saying that. What's the overall outcome for Aquarius here? What's the best potential outcome for Aquarius with this person of interest? Okay, we have, ooh, seven of swords, six of cups. Somebody has been watching you, Aquarius. Somebody from your past. Somebody I feel like is coming back around here. Um, this is, what is that? Moon and Aquarius. And we also have Scorpio as well. If you want to know, what this person has been doing when you and them are not talking, um, as well as how do they feel about you? What do they think when you come to their mind? What's their expectations? What's the block? Their next actions and outcome, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you can purchase the extended. With that being said, Aquarius, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.